Hey there, fellas. Okay, well, as not to leave you guys hanging, you'll recall that recently we put together this engine where we've increased the compression and compression ratio. You'll also remember that in the outro to the previous episode, we concluded that starting such a motor on gasoline could be a bit dangerous, because it might simply destroy itself. But then you can get a different type of fuel. Diesel fuel. You've got different varieties for summer and winter use. And we actually had a minivan a while back, with a 2CT engine, which we still have the fuel system for. And so here's what I suggest we do. In the past we have converted a diesel engine to run on gasoline, but we've yet to try the other way around. And this was a common request. Here's the engine, and we've done absolutely everything we could to get this engine into proper form. So let's go grab some fuel injectors, a fuel pump, install them, get everything up and running, find a place for the injectors and so on, set up a fuel tank, maybe even some glow plugs, though that might be unnecessary. I mean, it is warm in here, we are not going to be starting this outside. Yeah, we are converting a gasoline engine to run on diesel. And if we can get it to run, which I'm pretty sure we will, we can fit it to a car and drive around. See what it does at higher revs, lower revs, how well it's gonna pull. And we all know that diesels tend to have good low-end torque. Okay, well, let's see where this goes. Let's do this. We convert a gasoline engine to run on diesel. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay guys, check this out. The assembly process has been going really well. The fuel pump is set on a plate that we made for it. It's nice and firmly secured. And over here everything is very simple and straightforward. We've gotten a timing chain for this specific car. Two sprockets, the bigger one is on the pump and the smaller one is on the crank. So it's pretty much the same as on any other chain driven engine. We are using the spark plug holes to fit the injectors. We had to bore them out and tap some thread. And we also had to make a set of adapters. You see, the thing is that these injectors are pretty tall. So you're either going to have them protruding too far into the cylinders and touching the pistons. Or they're not going to be screwed in all the way, which is outright dangerous. Because at this compression, they could easily come shooting out. Anyway, this is pretty much ready, and the only remaining problem is with the starter motor. And that's about it. But I'm sure we'll get somewhere with this. Okay, let's carry on then.
Okay, so here's what's up. We've done all of the plumbing and so on, pumped a bit of fuel in, we still need to prime the high pressure unit. Okay, let's start turning and see what happens. At 24 volts, it's turning energetically. Is the diesel fuel gonna flow? Yes, it is. This should help us out, I reckon. What, you want to run for it? It lives very nice. Spray some more and don't be scared. Okay, sure. Do it. The battery's letting us down. We doing this? Are we ready? Switch it on. Come on. Wait, wait, take it easy. We seem to have a fuel leak. Where is it coming from? It's coming from... That is a good question. Let's go. Oh man, almost there. Oh, this is nice. Some fresh air. Nobody's getting oxygen poisoning in here. So we've played around a bit with the timing. And now... Here we go. Yeah, the starter motor is beginning to... It's fed up with us at this point. So we've adjusted the timing some more. And let's go. It's backfiring into the manifold. Into the manifold. That's premature injection. Okay, let's give this a try. There is less smoke now. Well, that's great. So we have combustion. Yeah, but the engine won't run. Even on this stuff. I'm curious to know why that is. Right, let's give it another spin and see where this goes. The starter... No, I didn't back off. I was waiting for it to warm up a bit. It is running off the heat gun. Yeah, I noticed that. If anybody's wondering, that was a drug joke that doesn't translate well to English. This is rather interesting. Switch it off for now. I mean, put that thing away. It's running on its own. Wait a second. We gotta close this off. It's throwing oil at me. That being said, we did get it to run. Now we'll just slightly adjust the timing again. Well, it runs.
I can't tell where the oil is coming from. I should have blocked it off better. I've got oil on me. I think it's coming off the chain. What are you doing on the floor? Now, if the alarm didn't go off, wouldn't that be interesting? Okay, people, this appears to have been a success. The engine started, it ran. You know what I think we should do? Let's verify that it does in fact start. Yes, it does. Can't see anything? All you can see is smoke? Terrific. Anything is possible, guys. You can indeed convert a gasoline engine to run on diesel, with the right fuel system. You feed it diesel fuel and it's gonna work. And that's all I got for you. To be continued. Subscribe, leave some comments, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Get your Toyota in here, for us to convert it to diesel. What? I would convert my own car, but I'm afraid it's not gonna pull.